We are working in the kitchen. Just two of us. First time alone. Sweating. Chefs, apprentices, all gone. His wife told is a little open. I can't send the two over his heart. Creeping up his shoulder. What's the tap? He smiles without looking at me. A sideward glance, knowing. He pops the studs. They crack to reveal a dragon. Oh, it's crouched above an erect brown nipple. A gray black beast. Blue wings enveloping. And claws to grip his breast. My breast. Nice. <laughs> like it? I like it. I'll have the chili crab. <laughs> Salt and pepper squid. I lick, lick, tamarind and honey from his skin. The first course, madam, what will you have? Steamed rice? Of course. Cannoli in a tea? Of course. Whatever you wish. Lips like sugar. Lips like chili. You should have ordered glutinous rice chicken. You know, I was up in Galagenbone, and this bloke around the store, well, he had a bit of a reputation for liking horses and dogs. They told me to watch him. I was going up the stairs, he's behind me, he says, You've got a nice ass. If you were a Kelpie, I'd do you. <laughs> I've collected recipes from all over Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. You name it, I've tried it. Tasted the colour. Saffron, fenugreek, pale skin, dark skin, toasted almond skin, mouths of cumin, pits of chilli, Plum wine, blood plums and sugar frothing for weeks under a stone. In the end, a black liqueur jelly. So alcoholic, it'll seize your throat like fire! Just mineral water with ice? Of course, no problem. Hey, I'm going to take a bit of a kip in the storeroom. Big night. Don't let on, eh? Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> I eat up the sound like golden mana. You sleep. A hungover, deep breath. Spread out in bags of rice flour. A gentle, girl-like breath. Brown hairs and strings. Sweating. Smelling of sandalwood. <laughs> 